Bounty, this is Bounty 1. Let's go ahead and move. Uh, suction lower and over. My duty title is Chief of Small Unit Training for the Mission Training Complex here at JBLM. I manage a portfolio of 36 programs. They're all simulations of one sort or another that are used for training on soldier skills. Gaming and the presence that it now has in our training is a reflection of really what technology is doing everywhere. Gaming is a huge savings for the amount of familiarity and repetitions that it allows the soldier to get as he prepares to go to war. Anybody shoots each other this time, I'll destroy you. This is a valuable thing for the soldiers to do. Every day, we've been booked since we came live with these trainers. I know that virtual training has been a gap. This is going a long ways towards filling that gap, and I'm excited that it will be filled not only here, but across the Army. So we're not trying to replace live with this. Live is where we always want them to go, but we want to get them at as high a level of proficiency as possible before they invest in live so that they can make the most of that valuable time. Our goal in virtual and gaming is to get the soldier at the highest level of proficiency that they can possibly attain so that uh, when they are asked to put their lives in harm's way, they know as much as they possibly could about how to do their job and how to accomplish their mission and how to come home safe. Now put your body into the striker. No man left behind here. Modeling and simulations provides a, a huge bang for the buck that it requires of the taxpayer. We're able to accomplish more with less. The world's a dangerous place. So investing in modeling and simulations in order to achieve higher levels of readiness is the smart thing to do. I know it, it's gaming. Please refrain from shooting each other. Thank <laughs> you.